Go on and tell me what happened after you grabbed her. I, she screamed and I told her to be quiet and I used zip ties to zip tie her hands and legs together and I hopped in the front of my car and I drove her around for probably a good 10, 20 minutes. I asked her if she had a cell phone, looked for that. I she kept asking me questions and I would answer them and I would I would lie to her. I would tell her that everything was gonna be okay and I, I would just lie to her. And I took her up to my room. And I sat her in my room and I played Netflix on the TV for her. It was either like Family Guy or something. I don't remember. It was some cartoon. I just kind of sat there. I sat there and I stared at her and I just remember absolutely blankness in my head. Having no thoughts, no nothing. And it just it terrified me. And after sitting there for probably an hour, maybe, I don't exactly remember, time kind of started feeling weird then. After that, <coughs> after that, I asked her to change into a pair of um, a shirt and shorts that I had and I let her go into the bathroom to do that and she came back told her to put all her clothes in her backpack and get her backpack ready and everything to go back. I guess I don't know the whole idea of being you know a forensic scientist all that stuff it just it comes with that morbid territory. Mm. And I wasn't faced by anything that was morbid that they could show me. And I, I don't know, from there I knew that, I don't know, I just... Also, let me ask you a question. Morbid things just stopped facing me. I guess, I don't know, the whole idea of being you know, a forensic scientist, all that stuff. It just, it comes with that morbid territory. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't faced by anything that was morbid that they could show me. And I, I don't know, from there I knew that, I don't know, I just... Also, let me ask you a question. Morbid things just stopped facing me. I had never fully thought and I had never actually fully planned through what I was going to do with it, what I was going to do, any of that. It just... Well, when you went out that morning, Friday morning, October 5th, which was early in the morning, and you drove over to Jessica's neighborhood, mm -hmm. what were you planning on doing that day? I had the attempt of picking up some, um, so any, any female that came across where I was. That it didn't matter what time, where, it did just anything. So you were anything. you were out for a better word, hunting? Yeah, uh, that's the only word I could think of. Hunting. And did you know Jessica? No. Had you ever seen her before? No, not at all. She was wrong place, wrong time. It was all random. I, I, it was you didn't stop the neighborhood or mm -hmm. go over to that neighborhood and mm -hmm. was looking for her? Mm -hmm. yep. Have you been out before looking I, for someone? I, I had gone out before hunting, as you would call it, and I had never even remotely gotten close to anything or even been able to... I, any time that I would even see someone walking while I was out in one of those modes, my heart would just instantly start beating really fast and I just, 
I couldn't think straight. I just, I, I don't know. I was that some of the thrill that you got by going out and doing this? Was was there a thrill aspect to it? I, I, I've been trying to figure that out. 